What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Papa Jellybean. I am back. Have you maxed out the amount of mods you want to install? Are there still more mods that you want to install, but you can't because you have no more room? Well, this is for MO Mod Organizer 2 users. There is a mod called Rudy88 ESLified. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one, how to install it, and two, how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to manually download it. Now go to your downloads folder. Now there's two ways you can do this. I can double click on it and it will open it. Or you can extract files to the download folder or you can extract here. Now what you're going to need, and if you watched my video from yesterday on how to update your, <coughs> excuse me, your um, Fallout 4, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time talking, Fallout 4 edit, you're going to need that folder to put it in. So you can right click, extract files, go to your Fallout 4 edit on your desktop and extract there. What you're going to see now is you're going to have these two files here. And if you're not sure what those two files are, you can still double click on this and it will give you the exact same thing. So now that we have that in our xedit folder, what we're going to do now is we're going to bring up our mod manager. We're going to come over here to the little roll. We're going to come over to executables, hit the plus sign, add from file. We're going to go to our desktop. And in our, we're going to double click on the R88 underscore ELS5 bat. Hit apply. Okay. Now in your Mod Organizer 2 drop down menu, you're going to highlight it and you're going to hit run. Type in whatever game you're doing it for. So if you're doing it for Fallout 4, you would do FO4. If you're doing Skyrim Special Edition, you would type in SSE. So since we're doing it for Fallout, we're going to type in FO4 and then we're going to hit enter. Hit enter one more time. Now this will come up here. Simply hit OK. Let it do its thing. Now depending on how many mods you got uh, installed at the time of using this program, it will take some time. It will not take some it all, de it all depends on the amount of mods. I got a, a few mods. So we're just going to let this run. I think I got too many mods. I actually don't have too many mods compared to some people. Okay, so now this little menu here will come up. What I suggest you do is go back to the mod page. Go back to the description and in here he will have some in here that you have to check you cannot use this program on so you just basically go through the list and anything you want to make an ESL flag now even though it is flagged in ESL it will still have the properties of an ESP so you're just gonna simply hit OK and that's it it's done And voila, that is how you turn your mods from an ESP to an ESL in Mod Organizer 2, Rudy88 Rudy ES file will allow you to do this with both Fallout and Fallout 4. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, move your mouse a little to the right, and hit that bell icon. So you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.